In the guide, Three Steps to Building a Care Ministry, the first step I identify is leveraging community resources. <laughs> Let's be honest. The church is unable to effectively support all the issues that your congregants are facing. In a single day, you can hear from seniors struggling with early signs of dementia, someone wanting support for addiction, and a couple whose marriage is on the rocks looking for guidance. That's why it's necessary to connect with community organizations to support your members' needs. But where do you start? Who do you talk to? And who do you trust that will support the person's faith? Hey there, my name is Laura, founder of Hope Made Strong, where we equip you and your ministry team to support and care for others. In order to have a care ministry that is able to tend to the needs of your congregants without anyone burning out, it is vital to partner with community organizations. This will strengthen your church's ability to serve your congregation and grow your impact and influence within the community. Your people will feel heard, supported, and find victory sooner, becoming a witness to God's goodness. The easiest place to begin is by looking for those in your congregation who may already be in the mental health system. There are often nurses, counselors, teachers, or other professionals that are connected to the mental health system in your area. These individuals are a great help in discovering what services are available. As you learn about the resources in your community, begin with finding ones that specialize in areas that address common needs within your congregation. For example, if your church has a lot of seniors, then you'll want to connect with organizations that specialize in senior issues. Or if your church ser serves young families, then find organizations that support parents or provide early childhood services. In the guide, Three Steps to Building a Care Team, there is a template of common community services to help guide your search, as well as place a place to record their contact and program information. Make sure you grab that guide and access that template to start your search. Once you have found a few organizations that you think would benefit your church community, the next step is framing the conversation. When contacting these organizations, start the conversation by inquiring about their programs and services. Becoming a partner is reciprocal. By asking about their programs as opposed to merely focusing on your own needs, you build the rapport and trust needed for a strong partnership. Now, if the goal was to merely find resources for your people, then yes, inquiring about what services these organizations offer is all that you need. However, I encourage you to see this as a bigger, more intentional opportunity. Now, as someone who has worked in the community mental health system for over 15 years, I can say that most, if not all calls received are people looking on how to use the services offered. How powerful would it be if you built a partnership and as a clinician, we are trained to value spirituality in someone's life. This is called the holistic approach, and it's the most common approach of community organizations. But even though faith is valued and encouraged, it doesn't mean that organizations are good at offering it. There is a gap in support that community organizations can't offer. It would be so advantageous for your organization for an organization to partner with your church or, or a clergy member who values a holistic approach, but whose strength is spiritual support. Now, I know many of you are at max capacity in caring for your congregations, but I offer this as an option because I know it would fill a need that many churches don't realize exists. It's also a great opportunity to be a witness within your own communities. Churches have an opportunity for partnership and community influence, but it starts with a conversation and genuine curiosity about the organization rather than just focusing on having your needs met. Now, the final step in building partnerships and, lever and leveraging community resources is to foster relationships. An easy way to do this is to find out about the needs of your organization and how you or your church might be able to offer practical support. Community organizations are used to people only coming to them to access services, so it would send a powerful message to ask about how you can serve them. And you can offer help by perhaps meeting with those interested in exploring their faith or maybe even helping with tangible needs like transportation or giving donations or offering meals. And here's a tip. In your conversations, it is helpful to avoid church language or jargon that may be misleading and confusing. For example, 
example, rather than using words like fellowship or ministry, you can use more commonly used words like connection and support. Community services are in the business of meeting the community's needs. By accepting their services, you're building trust. You can engage with their services by sending them referrals from your congregation, but it can be so much richer than that. They can help you by being available for consultation if you don't know how to best serve a member, or perhaps they can provide training and, and consultation for your whole team. By leveraging community resources with the intention of partnership rather than just a consumer, you are able to build trust and influence within your community. Your church becomes known as one that supports the community's well-being. In addition, you build relationships with those who are supporting members in your congregation. You become a valued part of the support network. Those in your congregation are supported, find freedom, and overcome struggles with less stigma. They know that their church is willing and able to access the most appropriate support for them within both the church and the community. And finally, and probably most importantly, people's lives are changed, and people who have been transformed can't help but share the message of God's love with others. This is just the first step in building a care ministry in your church. So grab that resource, Three Steps to Building a Care Ministry, and you can find that in the link in the show notes below. And if you found this video helpful and want to be notified when a new video goes live, make sure you, that pu you push that subscribe button. Thanks and take care.